Hello YouTube, so I wanted to do, this is sort of like a second trial of this foundation Clinique, it's, I have a sample size, but it's the Clinique Super, Super Balance Silk Foundation with SPF 15. Um, so when I saw that I said silk, I was like, oh my god, I need to try this because I need to find a dupe of Georgie Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I love, but it is $64 for one ounce and I'm tr I, I'm like somewhat justifying it but I'm like I need to find something that does what Georgia Armani Luminous Silk Foundation does but at a lower cost. Anyways, um, so this, the first time that I did it I forgot to record it and at the end of the night it looked really bad but you know what i'm gonna give it a second chance and just see how exactly it lasts throughout the day so i will check back in and tell you how exactly it lasts so i just got a little sample um i think i use like vanilla it's in the shade vanilla i believe so i'm just gonna apply it to the face so I did use Hourglass Primer, so it's like a moussey texture, this, this foundation. I will say it definitely is a little bit hard to get out of the bottle. Um, for the note, when I was getting the sample, the, the sales associate was having such a difficult time getting it out of the foundation that she pretty much like gave up and like it was just all over. So I'm just gonna use a brush. I'm just gonna sort of smooth that out. So far, it's really blending into the skin. It's really smoothing. Um, it does look like I'm putting on like a silicone primer. So it's definitely a medium in coverage, I would say. That's pretty much the coverage of it. You can definitely, this is one layer, and you can definitely tell that there's some, um, some areas that I still need more coverage. Is apply just one more layer around my mouth area. Okay. So, I finished all of my makeup. I did my highlight. I set it. I did my, um, all over powder. I put on some setting spray. I did my typical usual thing. The only thing that I changed up was not mixing my foundation. And so far, the first, um, just like first setting it and everything, it looks good. It's it's covering. It doesn't look cakey. Um, I will say it's somewhat accentuating my dryness around here. So anyways, I will be coming back to check in at whatever time, but right now it is 8.34. Um, 8.34. Yes, I will be checking back, but so far in the camera, it looks good. Um, and in person, it looks good. It's not something like, oh my god, it's amazing, but... That's his job. Anyways, enough of rambling. I'll check back in. Hello. So I wanted to do an update. It's right now 2.29 and it's been about five, six hours, I believe, since I applied it, which was at an eight. Um, so overall, it's looking pretty decent. It's not looking cakey. Um, I will say I typically get this kind of dewy, this oily look, no matter what any kind of foundation. In terms of coverage, is still there. I will say that it's sort of coming off around my nose area. I will say that this is making me a little bit more oilier than my other foundations, specifically my matter, my mattes. Um, this does say that it's supposed to be matte, but it's not really doing a good job at controlling my oils. Um, so 
the claim of oil control is like out the window, like far gone. But in terms of the finish, the coverage, it's it's there. Um, but it's starting to diminish. So I will check back later tonight, probably at nine after my last class. So anyways, I will see you later. Oh, hello. So I am looking like a hot mess. Um, it is 9.42 in New York currently, and I've had this pretty much about a little bit over 12 hours, I think. So I had it from 8 a.m. to 9.42 p.m., pretty much 10 p.m. And this is pretty much without touching it up at all. Nothing. I haven't even blotted so you can see it in all of its glory. I'm obviously so oily. I mean, even this area is oily. It just looks so greasy. It definitely like came off on the edges of my nose. Otherwise, it still has coverage on my face. So what I'm just going to go do is just powder it up and see how exactly it it touches up. So I'm using RCMA loose no color powder. I'm just using a fluffy brush such as this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it on one side first. See how exactly it compares. I have one side touched up, this side touched up, this side is not touched up. Oh god my mascara is like running like crazy. Anyways, okay, so it touches up pretty nicely. Um, still has a nice finish to my skin. So look at all that oil though. Ugh. Anyways, so this is a month later, um, I think. It's been a while. But I tested the foundation out. I tested using my other regular foundations that I love and in my honest opinion I don't think this is worth the money I mean there's better foundations yeah they're a little bit more expensive um, but for me they work so much better in my head the investment is just more like also has been some comparison of the Nick silk foundation to Giorgio Armani silk foundation um, but those are two completely different entities texture, finish, coverage and whatnot is just completely different so to compare these two are like yin and yang um, yeah they both have the name silk in it but it's just not like for me it's not up to par of what Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation does. It, it creates such a, a gorgeous finish on my skin. It just, it just, it's just gorgeous, bottom line. Again, this is all preferences. This is all personal um, opinions, and this is mine. And also, there are cheaper foundations out there. Revlon, Maybelline, um, L'Oreal Infallible, in general foundations. There are better ones uh, in the drugstore department than buying the Clinique one. But there have some people who raved, raved about it, but for me, I could do without the Clinique um, Lumina Civil Foundation, which is why I did not purchase it, and which is why I stopped using the sample, like, after a while. It felt it wasn't, it just wasn't up to par. So, if you want to try it, try it, because it seems like some people like it. Some people don't like it. I'm one of those people who don't like it. But yeah, I hope this review helped you. If you have any questions, put your comment down below and I will answer you. Okay? Hopefully I can figure out what video to make. I might do a video of a haul of what I got at Ulta and Sephora because it seems like they're getting their 20% discount in. So check over that.